My dad is a very interesting and hilarious man. He has experiences and stories and will cry from laughing every time he tells you the one about how he entered a race for track and field day in middle school, but was so bad and slow and so far behind everyone else that people in the stands actually started walking out onto the field before my dad even finished because they didn't even realize he was in the race. So he just walked off the track and went home. What I'm trying to say is Evan Seymour is a man with some depth, or to borrow a metaphor from Shrek, who is also a dad. Happy Father's Day, Shrek. Um, much like an onion, my dad has layers. But what about dads in video games? Typically, it's some gruff and tough dude that has to protect his family or get revenge because the family didn't get protected or whatever reason a writer came up with to get you to kill bad guys. And I'm not saying that these types of dads are bad dads. These are fucking great dads. Mike Hager is a great dad. Sam Fisher is a great dad. Big Daddy is a great he's a big he's a great big old daddy there may not be a whole lot of depth when it comes to harry mason but any dad that's gonna trek through a halloween spooktacular with fucking cardboard box pants to save his daughter is a good dad in my book but still where the fuck are the dad jokes where's the random anecdotes that teach me life lessons which one of these bozos is gonna talk to the applebee's waiter a lot longer than I thought he would. Eli Vance seems to have a very loving and healthy relationship with his daughter Alex, which is super nice to see. He built her a fucking robot dog. Hey, I really like your dog. What breed is it? It's a robot dog, you bitch. John Marston may have seemed like the typical gruff and tough badass dad stereotype, but towards the end of Red Dead Redemption, you get to see a bit of his softer side as he just tends to his farm and teaches his son how to hunt and do other cowboy related shit. Ethan Mars is yet another video game game character on a quest to protect his child, but at least Heavy Rain dives into Ethan's character a little bit beyond the surface level and allows you to press X to Jason and SHUT! A big part of being a real dad is not always getting to be happy and fun with your kids because kids are kind of dipshits sometimes. There is no better video game representation of the popular dad phrase, I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed than God of War. There should just be a fucking game mechanic where there's a meter on top of the screen that shows you if Kratos is more angry or disappointed at the boy. <laughs> but I mean, Kratos may be kind of a hard ass, but I think the reason this father and son relationship works so well is because the game isn't centered around you saving your son. The son is just there. You just get to hang out with the kid and witness a relationship between a god and his boy grow in front of your very eyes. Another dad with some depth, or a depth daddy, <laughs> if you will, is Joel in The Last of Us. And regardless of whether you think he's a good dad or a bad dad, you can't deny that there's at least more to Joel's character than just being a gruff and tough dude on a mission. I called my dad before I started writing this video and I just asked him, Dad, what would you say best captures what being a dad is all about. And he immediately answered without hesitation. He just said, just hanging out with my kids, teaching you guys stuff while you also teach me stuff. And I thought that that was really insightful. And that statement from my dad is more apparent in The Last of Us than any other game I've ever played. The small moments of just Joel and Ellie hanging out and talking are among the best in a game with a lot of good ass moments. Like that's, that's a real dad right there. But what about some bad dads? Just some real deadbeat pieces of shit. I'm talking about King Zora in Ocarina of Time who just sits on his lazy fat fish ass like an asshole and has you go into this giant water beast to save his daughter. What the fuck? James in Fallout 3 who yeah, taught you how to shoot a BB gun and has good intentions of providing clean water to the wasteland and gets a couple automatic dad points for being voiced by Liam Neeson, but just leaves you in a vault with an insane overseer and a bully from the hit musical fucking Grease with no explanation at all. What the flip, dad? Michael spends most of GTA 5 reminiscing about his glory days and killing like one, two, three, I don't know, a billion cops. And I don't blame him for not wanting to spend time with his piece of shit son, but maybe his son wouldn't have been a piece of shit if Michael spent some time with him. Honestly, though, one of the most realistic depictions of dads in video games is shower with your dad simulator. And not the part about showering with other dads or even your own dad, but just going to a locker room for like a water park or something and just having to be around a bunch of naked old men just hanging out like 
That happens to kids. That happened to me. If you're a regular viewer of my channel, you might recall that in my Moms in Video Games video, I ended it by saying the real moms in video games are us the gamers. Because we give life and help each other out and take care of one another. So if the real moms in video games are us, then who the flip are the real dads in video games? It's the video games themselves. The video games were the dads all along. A good dad will help you grow as a person and also teach you some valuable life lessons, possibly through a tough experience like falling on your bike or failing at something at first before sticking with it and overcoming a challenge. So while Bowser may be an actual dad in Super Mario Galaxy, Super Mario Galaxy itself was kind of a metaphorical dad for me and my brothers because it taught us to overcome a challenge in a fun and wholesome way. I might be reaching a little bit, but Dads are fucking cool and admirable as hell. Whether you're a cliche, badass, tough guy dad saving your daughter for like the 16th time or a full-time stay-at-home dad that's secretly an octopus, let's hear it for the dads. And let's get some more depth daddies with some onion layers in video games. Happy Father's Day, everyone. And to anyone in LA or going to VidCon next week, I will be there with some YouTube pals. And also, I totally forgot that Father's Day was coming up this Sunday or today, and I was already almost done with another video, and then so I'm working on this one and another one. So I know the gaps between content have been really long, but you're getting another video that's like seven minutes long and really stupid in a couple days. So thank you. I love you. Goodbye. Hey, boys. Hofstein story, yo, Hannah's hands. Sugar plus sip with Dust Veteran. Nate Ryan, part of his beat, twisty lips. Cowboy Ryan, get Alex, just a sticky nips. Omega Satan sauce, Nick Sweet, Joe Speck. Home slots, Pops, Johan, Brock Stepp. Chase Gein, Roller, Eddie, the average fool. Rick C, Ass Miss, it's by the two. Palm Key, Channel Slam, a big dumb Bonanza. David Aaron, Buck Magenti, Aranda. Brian Gabriel, of course, on my rattlest chance. Yo, Zigger, Jibber, Jab, the Buck Banner. Yo, Gila Wise, Chris Pike, Phoenix. We are Steve Touch, Steven Sibby, Yarky, Hogar, Zach the King, King Moore, Eka, and your Murray, Slick, Nick Moreno, Mules, 50, Yip Meister, the Child Fondler, oh yeah, Nita Andre. <laughs> Jim D. Oranda. Brian. <laughs> I just was looking at you. Yo, I fucked up too. I fucked up too. It's fine. It's fine. I've been fucked up. I took a glance at you. I'm sorry. The camera just face was like, he's like getting really sexy with it. Okay, I can't look at you. You're really fucking. Did I just stand behind you? I'll be fine. I'll be fine. Okay.